Hi everyone, in this chapter we'll be looking at topic 4 on exponential and logarithmic functions. Okay, and in this video clip, I'm just going to give you a brief introduction to functions in and with that, then in the next subsequent video clips, we'll be looking at the exponential and logarithmic functions. Now, what are actually functions? Functions basically is a rule or relation that assigns to each and every element in this x to one and only one element in y. Okay, that is a function. Okay. And the set of values of x is what we call the domain of f. And this set of values of y is what we call the range of f. Okay. So the domain of f is denoted by what we call d of f. And the range of f is of what we denote as r of f. Okay. Let me just give examples of some functions. For example, if you have fx equals to x squared plus 3, right? If you substitute minus 2 inside, you get minus 2 squared plus 3, that gives you 7. <coughs> and you sub in 1 inside, you get 1 squared plus 3, that gives you 4. So diagrammatically, it means that it maps the value minus 2, okay, to the value 7. And it maps 1, Two, four. Basically, that is the case. And then let me give another situation where it's not a function. Okay, this g is not a function. Why is that so? Because if you substitute one inside, you get plus minus root four. That gives you plus minus two. Because just now, as I mentioned to you, a function is one which assigns each and every element here to one and only one element y. So you cannot allow a situation where it maps the value one to two values here. Okay, so with that, I end this particular video clip on the introduction to functions. And then in the next two video clips, we'll be looking at exponential and logarithmic functions, which are the more key functions that we'll be looking at in this chapter. Thank you.